Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a psychic channeling today. Um, so another cold case investigation that I've recently been looking into. And actually this one came up on my internet feed. Um, saw the story and sort of delved deeper and then I've actually sort of channeled the person in question a few times and today I've been guided to do this reading. So some of you might have seen this story is pretty old um, but it's resurfaced recently due to a Netflix um, documentary called Vatican Girl. I don't actually have Netflix myself so I've not seen it but um, some of you might want to check that out. And this is about the story of Emanuela Orlandi, who was a 15-year-old girl who disappeared from the Vatican City, which was her hometown. And this was on the 22nd of June, 1983. Um, there is also a documentary here on YouTube that I've seen. Um, I think it's Real Crime. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. So if any of you want to see that, you can do. And um, that's all I've seen. So if you watch that, you'll be aware of what I've seen and what I know so far. But I've also, since watching that, connected with Emanuela a few times. Um, she's given me some information already, which will hopefully come through in this reading. Um, so her brother Pietro is really involved still in investigating what happened. He's in that documentary that I mentioned. Um, now as I, yeah, so I've got a heavy energy already here. Because as I mentioned him to Emanuela, she had, I saw her with tears in her eyes and she cries for him in the spiritual realm. She is in the spiritual realm and um, that's my opinion here in terms of what I've channeled. Um, and she forgives him. They had a row which um, he mentioned actually. She wanted him to take her to, I think it was the bus stop, to go to music school and he wouldn't. And he feels a lot of regret. So she wants to say that she forgives him. Um, wow, yeah, and I've got this, I suddenly just got this relief come over me as I said that. So she's really happy that I've shared that. Um, hopes that they may, that may um, reach him as well, potentially. Okay, um, so yeah, she loved music. Um, now we know that from obviously the footage we can see her playing the flute um, but she told me something else that wasn't mentioned in that documentary she loved the piano um, Chopin in particular she kept saying Chopin um, I can hear the, the piece of music but I couldn't tell you what it's called <laughs> and I'm not going to hum it but um, anyway she loved the piano. I do too actually. So it's interesting that um, this morning I played some piano music. And by the way, um, she was ready for me to do the reading today. I always check, you know, if it's okay um, to do the reading with them in terms of their energy. And she's, she said yes. She was quite insistent that I wear nail varnish for this reading. Um, so that's why I've got, I mean, I, I do sometimes put it on, but um, not always, <laughs> because it often chips, um, you know, from doing household chores and stuff. But anyway, yeah, she wanted a dark colour. Now, this is the darkest one I've got. It's purple, but I don't know how it's going to show up on camera. It might look more like pink. Um, she liked dark colours, especially black, she was telling me. Um, 
and she liked makeup. Now it's quite interesting that there's a link there because on the day she disappeared she was at her music school um, also she was showing me the front of the building I can see it, it's quite a grand building um, and I can see the word Victoria in the title she's telling me the rest of the, the name of the school but I, I can't say it um, I can't quite hear it but I can hear Victoria so I believe there's Victoria in the name um, and she stayed at the school that evening as she was offered an Avon job um, so yeah clearly there's like a link to make up there um, that she was quite interested in so it was quite interesting with the nail varnish um, as I said now she was also um, so she didn't return home that evening that's when she disappeared um, but she also was showing me a plaza um, I can sort of see it like a map in my mind I'd need a map to, to sort of pinpoint where she was abducted from um, but yeah it was a plaza now in Italian it's piazza I believe and it's begins with an N piazza N but I, again I can't quite get that name but it was around there um, I also want to mention that last night in fact um, I sort of refreshed my memory in terms of this case and I was really channeling um, around the time of her abduction I could suddenly smell cigarette smoke so the person that took her smoked most definitely but also the person who unfortunately took her life smoked now I believe it's the same person um, I do have a pretty um, instinctive feeling in terms of who it was but I'm not going to mention that here on camera um, okay so there's a few other things um, that you know you'll you'll see in the documentary if you watch if you watch it but um in terms of like the the Vatican um, and the church being involved or knowing stuff let's say because the Pope in his public speech implied that she'd been kidnapped and said he hopes she's returned to us um, and I remember in the documentary the brother said you know well that really shed light on what had happened and you know that they knew something so obviously he's really been trying to unravel information in terms of this case but it's all been covered up um, okay so we'll see what else comes through but I do also want to mention the initials P and M for mother that she kept highlighting to me in my mind um, M a few times first and last name initial and P um, a couple of times okay now she's also asked me to pull a few letters now I've never done this in these readings before but I'm just going to see you know if we get any other initials or words and it might sort of bring out some more information yeah see we've got M it's no surprise that in particular that initial keeps coming through so we've got S X E wow okay so you, you can all work out from that what um, 
what the message is. Um, yeah, also before this reading, um, I kept seeing rings. So um, there was definitely an organize, you know, an organization. There's actually more than one organization, but um, a ring, you know, a ring basically was in the picture here. Um, so, you know, we'll see um, paedophile ring, corruption. Okay, so we've got R, I, J, O, L, Z, um, F, A, O, N, and V. Yeah, so we've got that N again that I said um, was the name of this place. Is plaza. If anyone knows, please let us know. Yeah, so I'm seeing sin. Um, you know, a couple of sins happened regarding this case. Um, it's not been an easy one, to be honest. But that's why I do these channelings, to highlight, you know, this underworld and um, the reality that happens to innocent children you know and it's happened to so many more but this is another case that got out into the spotlight um, due to the link to the church her father um, obviously he worked for the Vatican yeah he, dev he devoted his life to the Vatican Yeah, it's interesting um, fear is coming out here and that's what I've been feeling since I started this. Okay, well, it's really interesting that my camera there just cut off as I was saying about fear and that since starting this reading I've been getting fear coming through my energy. Um, it kind of comes up like acid, so, you know, if you ever hear that, in a reading, apologies, but that's what it is. It's um, it's just coming through as energy. So someone um, from that, someone's definitely fearful of me doing this reading. I have sensed this actually as well. Some people don't want me to do this reading. Um, Someone in particular knows information, I mean, more than one person, but there is one person in particular who's scared of sharing what they know. Okay, I'm just going to see if any anything else comes out. Any letter that... Yeah, I keep getting drawn to L. L, so that was also someone's initial. Now, I'm... Okay, I'm just channeling here Luigi. It's coming through. Luigi. Um, now, I don't know how that person is involved, but I'm feeling the fear here for this person. So this person knows something. I really do hope they may come forward with some information. Okay, so we'll leave the letters there. Um, we may get some more words come through later that link. 
Um, now, Emmanuel is very creative, I've got to say that about her. Obviously, she was musical. Um, we've got a link there, actually, because she knows that I also play the flute. <laughs> I'm not going to play it today for you all, sorry. But <laughs> anyway, she really wants me to use my golden tickets as well for this reading. And she's so carefree. Um, I imagine her energy was that way. It is still that way, you know, in spirit, but very youthful, creative, had a lot of joy of life. That's why this is so sad. Um, all these cases are sad, but anyway, she wants me to, um, just gonna, wow, yeah, pure, pure has just turned over there. She was of pure, a pure light, pure energy. Um, anyway, she's asked me to sort of pick them up like leaves and just drop them and see see what comes out. So I thought, yeah, okay, that sounds sounds good. Um, just saw pure again. Turn over there. And yeah, this word really stood out. I just saw adventure. Because she was adventurous and I think this offer that she got drew her in. She was obviously lured in by this person. Um, she saw it as an adventure. She just wanted to to you know to get out there and do something. So we got challenge, yeah, it was then a challenge for her um, when she was then taken. Um, she has sort of again told me a few things there, um, that she was taken to an apartment and she was going from apartment to apartment. She was being driven. Um, that's as much as I'll say for now, but broken, yeah. She felt broken um, once she realized what had happened. And she thought it was serendipity on that day in terms of this offer. You know, she sort of fell on top of the world and then suddenly all her dreams were broken. She realized she'd been conned. Okay, yeah, we've got Liar there. So some people have lied, covered things up. Certain things, by the way, as well, um, like clues people have given have been lies. They've been um, a red herring. I'm just getting here. But people know the truth, some people as well. Wow, yeah, okay, so we've got aggressive. Now, this really links with an energy I picked up on last night. Um, a dark energy, aggressive. Now, I've even written it on my notes here. Um, just show you this part. Not sure we can see that, aggressive. Now this energy is someone who ordered for this to happen. Um, again, I'm not going to name names here, but um, this is where the driving from one apartment to the other happened. She and others would be driven to this person. Now I'm getting a corrupt energy, dark, certainly a paedophile coming through, it's not a nice energy. I don't want to linger there. Um, wow, yeah, chemistry. Now, 
Yeah, with this one, okay, so what she wants me to say here is about the fact that, again, I've written it down on my notes. There was an older woman also in the picture. And she said to me last night, um, she would help her, but burn her. Now, she's saying that metaphorically, you know, she didn't literally burn her, but she'd hurt her. Um, there was chemistry, they got on, but then she'd suddenly, you know, she'd realised that she didn't really have her back as well. So, just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, wow, we got creative, which is what I was saying before, very creative energy. That's amazing that that's come through. Wow, I just got shivers there. Okay. Yeah, wow. Some of you might get shivers at this point. Um She's also she's being creative as well. She's still being creative in terms of trying to give signs to me and others. You know, like her brother, for example. You know, anyone else who's channeled her, you might get creative signs come through. As I said about the ring, I kept seeing rings for me. We got depressed. Um, now she's she's really highlight, highlighting her brother here. Um, and it's actually yeah, something that I, I felt when I saw his energy. He's so sad and broken Wow, okay, yeah, that's what broken links to as well. She wants to highlight there. But we got blessing as well. So, yeah, again, she wants to give her blessing to her brother. You know, she's she's really highlighting that. Um, that she loves him so much. Wow, okay, yeah, heavy energy here coming through. Um, she's saying that he is blessed. And protected. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Um, now with blessing, she's, okay, she's just telling me now that there's going to be like, um, yeah, well, with serendipity as well, there's going to be some sort of serendipity in terms of a clue here that's a blessing um, on this case. Something that's revealed. Now I'm sensing it could be quite soon in terms of the planets. Um, planetary shifts, in particular from March of this year onwards, but sort of don't don't hold me to that, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so let's now. She wanted me to use this deck today, Heaven and Earth Tarot, um, beautiful deck. So, anything else that you want to share in terms of what happened? Um, I have channeled how she died and I get a very tight, tight energy around the throat so I'm sensing strangulation um, And it's so interesting that I was saying about there being different parties involved, you know, different people. 
because we've got three energies that have come out that are to be noted. Two kings and a knight. Now this knight is the abductor. Um, you know, the horse, I'm seeing like the car, you know, so he would take her to this king, but we've got another king as well, okay. Coming out here. Um, now, with this being the king of pentacles, there was definitely money involved here. You know, so this person was paid to do this. Earth and water energy um, and fire coming out, but they could have that in their chart. See, even here we've got three coming out. So three people in particular who were involved in this. We've got like the middleman, person at the top, and someone here like behind the scenes. And it's so interesting, wow, these two are wearing robes like monks. So, you know, make your own conclusions there, but two people potentially within the church. And, you know, we've got death as well that's come out here, um, which doesn't always mean death, but that is certainly what I have felt. Um, and, you know, this is amazing again. The imagery here we've got, I mean, this looks like a pope or a priest. Now, I'm not in any way saying the pope made this happen, but um, some information was withheld there. Definitely. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five energies here. Um, so four energies who definitely know something about what happened. Now one could be a child. So it could be that there was another girl around at the time, you know, the same sort of grooming and stuff was, was happening there. Yeah, definitely a feminine energy as well in the picture. Now, again, this links with what I've, I've channeled, um, that she was taken in a car, her body was, and it was dumped. Um, now, she, she's showing me like a container. It's metal, but I can't quite work out how big it is from, from my vision. Um, but three people were involved in that happening. Yeah, it's interesting. There's, there's an energy that is coming through that really doesn't want me to say this. But anyway, they're not going to stop me. Yeah, wow. Ace of Swords, because I'm speaking the truth. Yeah, and here's the feminine energy. Wow, yeah, it was a couple. And the Ace of Wands as well, wow. So, this is what we don't see, but what I felt. Um, this feminine energy was quite nurturing at times, and she was... And there's a couple here, basically, who were involved in trafficking her, I've got to say. And it was all for... Um, someone's pleasure. Just got to put that out there, the Ace of Wands. See, this is so interesting, the imagery um, we've got here. This male, and there's a female and a child. 
in a boat. So, you know, this is what she was showing me, that she would be taken in a car. So, you know, here we've got transport with this feminine energy often being there in the car. Wow, and she was taken to quite a grand house. She was seeing here. I mean, this is pretty amazing. I can see why I was guided to use this deck. We've got this symbol up here. It's a triangle, circle and a line. And she's saying that that is significant. Not sure if you can see that on camera. But it even looks like a church, you know, or linked to the church in some way. There's some symbol over the door that's significant. Okay, so the person that did it, um, that took her, let's say, has had his judgment call. Now I'm sensing he's no longer here, but I could be wrong on that. Um, he, yeah, he was, he suffered in some way, and that was like, karma, you know, that came through there. It's interesting the way that card just dropped. And that's the sign, you know, that person fell. They were taken um, from this world. They took a life and their life was taken. That's what I'm getting there. Okay, so anything else on, um, I'd just like to ask about this case, you know, in terms of it coming to light. I'm feeling something comes to light. I'll admit it's a case I'd never heard of before seeing this documentary, but I think it is quite well known. Wow, okay, that's interesting. That's flown out up there. Now we've got someone here, this is Thief. They got a lot of money for doing this. They were paid to do this and they did it. And it was a younger energy. Um, when I say younger, the other energies were older, like 50, 60, maybe. This person was maybe in their 40s. Could have been 30s. It's, that's one thing that's quite hard to tell with energies, you know, but I'm def definitely getting two older and one younger. Yeah, I'm getting here, some information comes to light. There's a document um, that's revealed. Now, it's interesting we've got a feminine energy here. This feminine energy I've mentioned does have a conscience. And I believe she may even give some evidence related to this person. So again, it's that couple, I feel. Wow. You can't make this up. It says important revelation. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of revelation here, some information that someone shares and I'm feeling this is 
you know, like with the authorities, um, you know, uh, yeah, again, we've got a female energy here who goes to the police and they, you know, they document what she says. But she may be blocked. So we've got here some enemy says um, someone who may watch her because they don't want this to come to light. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm even feeling it in my energy. Someone doesn't want me to share this because of what I know. They may try and coax her with money. I mean, the amount of corruption that's obviously coming through here, but okay, so let's see what, what that may result in. Yeah, so this person may feel stuck, unsure, a bit fearful. Um, so that's all I think that holds people back is fear, you know, but we got success. That's beautiful. With the reef and the book, there's someone that wants to share this information. They've been holding for a long time. It's really weighed them down. They've held it in for a long time. Okay, yeah, even this card says victory. See, things are happening behind the scenes as well. There's divine intervention that, you know, might be sort of pushing this person with signs to do something here. Um, I'm getting this person's in their 50s, late 40s, 50. Potentially. Okay. Um, that's all I'm getting. So, you know, take what resonates there. Do your own research. You can always watch um, the documentaries as well. Make your own mind up. Um, put in the comments anything that's come through that you feel is quite pertinent. Um, now I'm just going to finish with, might sound strange, but an oracle card which I feel is going to give a voice to Emanuela today because these readings obviously we focus a lot on the negative, like well, I'm going to say negative, the dark stuff that's happened. Um, and it can be a bit triggering for people, so you know, make sure you ground yourself if anything's come up that was a bit difficult to hear. So that's why it's quite nice to finish on a positive note. So, Manuela, what do you want to say today? I'd like you to pull the card out. We got one. Yeah, just laughing because um, she's sort of, she's got a sense of humour. You know, she was just saying, she was sort of joking with me there, um, saying be patient <laughs> in terms of getting the card out. Okay, we got cycles. Wow, everything has its right time. And the butterflies are showing a, tran a transformation, a change here 
So things will happen at the right time. So we've got the moon, which is about deception, but also things coming to light at the right time. That's beautiful. The bottom of the deck, again, really beautiful compassion. She has a lot of compassion, as I said, it's interesting, it says forgiveness will set you free. Um, be gentle with yourself. So, as she said before, she's forgiven um, her brother in particular because he feels a lot of regret and sadness, but she's also again wanting him to forgive himself. It will set him free and be gentle with himself in terms of that um, heavy... Well, I'm getting emotions now that I can feel that he holds on to. Um, he's got like this heaviness, regret. It's like a... Well, I've never felt this before in a channeling. Um, I just got this hollow feeling in my heart. Like a void that he feels. Because he hasn't been able to reach a conclusion, you know, um, and that's why he needs to be gentle with himself. Well, this is really strongly a message for him. I hope he may hear this, but I feel he will energetically if he doesn't see this. And she just wants to highlight the heart. So she's also saying to the collective here, um, to have compassion. So although these things aren't easy to hear, they come from people who've been deeply wounded. There's no excuse for what they do. Um, it even says they see the light in yourself and others. Yeah, it's hard to see, I know, in these cases, in terms of what these people do, but um, there's a reason that these things happen and hopefully we will move into a lighter energy which I am feeling as well she's highlighting that if we share our light then the world will be lighter you know it will, be, it will, it will help the world the collective to heal Okay, wow, I really wasn't expecting that to come through at the end, but beautiful messages to end on. So I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for being here. Um, please do comment if you wish. If anything came through there that you maybe picked up on or anything resonated. Sending lots of love to you all.